Ladies and gentlemen, today I have one of the coolest Black Ops 1 maps ever that has just released probably like three to four years ago. It's pretty new called Battery. Now, a lot of you guys saw this on my Lex Lounge, Mr. T Lexify Terminated video, and I am here to play it. This map is so cool. It's got one of the hardest Easter eggs I've ever done, but I want to see if I can beat it for you guys today and show you how much of a cool map this is. So essentially, it has Panzer Soldats from Origins. It has the Pentagon Thief from Five. It has a lot of custom weaponry, and it is literally one of the hardest maps I've ever played. And if you guys see to the left of me here, I have two buildable parts with a bunch of question marks. I can tell you guys what those are. The first one is the Electric Trap from Transit. I know, what a random buildable to bring. Uh, but it is a part of the Easter egg, so it is useful. And then the second one, you will not believe this trap, is literally, I cannot believe I'm saying this, it's the Panzer Soldat Armor. You can literally be the Panzer Soldat. This one also has the weirdest set of crew characters either. I think it has like Misty, Marlton, Danny Trejo from Call, uh, Call of the Dead, and another person I think from Call of the Dead. Like, it like is mix and matching everything. It's a very, very hard map, though, too, as well, because, again, I just think that the progression of this map is extremely, extremely difficult. Um, but let's talk about the Easter egg. So the first step of the Easter egg is actually to build this electric trap and to get certain parts from the Pentagon Thief. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to do that. We're going to end the round here, um, and then we're going to grab a weapon off the wall again. Black Ops 1 is gift and curse because you get the two-hit system, which is bad, but you get longer crawlers that stay alive, and which is really good for this Easter egg, in my opinion. So that'll be nice. Let's open up this door here now and grab the wall by on this portion of the map, which is called the WAF. Also, there could have been a spot or a buildable part for the electric trap there. It is not there. That buildable table is where we're building an electric trap. So right now, I just literally need to grasp as many points as I physically can. That's a kill. Thank you. Uh, I am going to also open up this side. Yeah, here is one of the parts for the electric trap right there, ready to go. Um, we are also going to grab the other part once we open up to the pack bunch pads. Because as you can see, we have a pack bunch pad. It's very similar to Kino to Toten. This map does a lot of mix and matching, which I think is cool because it really feels like a BO1 map. Uh, there's a lot of uh, perks on this map too. There's no perk limit. And again, I will have this map in the link in the description if you are interested in downloading and playing it. However, I will warn you. I will, however, warn you and say, oh, here we got another part. Nice. And say that this map is not for the faint of heart. So if you are not confident with your zombie skills, do not even try playing this map. This map is very, very difficult, and I would honestly think that, like, you need to be, like, at least be able to get to, like, round 30 to 50 on most of the maps, I feel like, to have a good shot at doing this. Uh, because, like I said, the speedrun world record of this entire map is 54 minutes. And that is also because there's a lot of dumb RNG with the box, and... I, I'll tell you guys the three weapons that we need are the Death Machine, which is like a crank version of this map. It's really cool. You need either a Raygun Mark 1 or a Raygun Mark 2 for an explosive weapon for certain parts of this Easter egg. And on top of that, you also do need a, um, a gun for the final boss fight, which I'm not going to spoil. I'm going to tell you guys what it is once we actually get there. I'm going to grab the nuke, end round. Also, look at this. This is a door, which I think is so cool. There's numbers where I need to write down to remember. That's a four. Just want to remember that. And uh, here you can see it's also cool because they have some, like, Division 9 stuff. They have Widow's Rhine right there. So, yeah, I'm going to open and turn on the power here because this is the only way we can get the Pentagon Thief to spawn in. There we go. Man is in. We're probably gonna have to buy some more wall ammo. So I gotta get the heck on out of here. Box is right there. That's a great spawn for box. So we're definitely gonna be hitting that up. But I do want to make sure that we have this weapon for the first Pentagon Thief that we're about to fight. I believe our first Pentagon Thief will be on round six. And I am honestly, I think I'm gonna grab double tap first before we hit box here. 
uh, because, like I said, this is going to be a lot of grinding, and Jug is not even a priority when you're trying to just speedrun this map. Incredible double points. Thank you so much for that. Um, double Tap is also going to be purchased here. We're going to need this for Panzer, because that man does not mess around, let me tell you. Also, there we go. Yeah, this is a pretty good wall weapon, man. The fact that it's able to just hold its own right now is really nice. Okay, so now I'm assuming this will be our first Pentagon uh, Thief round. There's also a seagull that flies around this portion of the map. So if you guys see that in the recording, let me know. But I am going to make sure that I shoot him, take him down. So here we go. Pentagon Thief, where are you, boy? So he has all it's a little bit weird what this first step of the easter egg is and i get why nobody would really figure this out so here he is he spawned at spawn i'm just gonna let him see me grab my gun and get teleported so now he's gonna run around the entire map doing what he does but he's gonna come all the way back here and drop a part and that part was actually the battery piece for the panzer sold out armor so we can already get that round six that's pretty nice Let's make sure we continue it and keep it going and keep it getting through. Uh, but now, one thing I am going to do is I'm not going to buy this door just quite yet. We do need to buy all these silo doors as well because that's for a specific Easter egg. Let's buy this door first because I believe we can get a part here. Oh my gosh, he genuinely scared me by spawning in like that. So now he's going to spawn in. Honestly, maybe we'll just run with him because I think he's about to... He might be about to run back into power, so... What are you going to do, buddy? You also have to make sure not to damage him. So, that will be a little bit interesting. He can hop over here. You come back to power. He's like, nah, G. I ain't coming back to power. But, yeah, he will eventually. So, there's that one. And uh, he's. I think he's just now running back in. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, now he's going to run back up. Come over. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. He went through another silo. They take a long time to kill, or uh, they give you a lot of time on this because for four player, I believe the Pentagon Thief health scales. So it takes a bit. Now he's going to come back up. Nope, I'm wrong. He's not going <laughs> to. I mean, man, look at that. <laughs> he's just juking every single thing I'm saying. Okay, now he's coming. So yeah, he's not going to come and hit me, but he is going to come back into the power room here. And here he is. There is the part. Grab the part. He does his little animation. He's going to drop a max, which I am going to wait and grab for. But this map is really, really cool. Uh, honestly, I don't even know who made this map. But like I said, I will have the download link in the description. I do know that this map is a UGX map, though. So if you do have any concerns or situations with that, then uh, it is what it is. I did not realize that the Bowie Knife was here. Okay, well, doesn't even matter because, I mean, you really don't even need it on this map. Uh, but now, we're back in the grind here. Um, so, I just have to also make sure that I get these numbers correct. So, these numbers correspond with wheels that you have to turn. There's three wheels on this big pipe on that side of the map over there that we have to uh, fix and switch. So, we have to turn them in a specific amount of times. And also, we do need to build the electric trap now for the next doctor round because the next time now... We have to kill him instantly, literally instantly, and make sure that he runs into the electric trap first without damaging him. So there's going to be a bit of stuff here. Here we go. The pepper mill crank. That's actually one of the weapons we need. I cannot believe it was our first box gun. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Horrifying gameplay. Uh, let's grab this insta kill. Knife. There we go. Huge. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, this is seriously one of the coolest weapons ever. Look at this. It's literally a crank death machine. Uh, but now, yeah, the pipe is right there, and those are the wheels right there. I am going to grab... Okay, Panzer's here. Hold up. Everybody got to chill now. I'm just going to unload on that man with this gun. There he is. He's got no shot. You've got no shot, buddy. Yeah, and also, the Panzer does drop a specific item, which we need, which is the key. Not totally sure what it's needed for, but uh, we do need it, so it's important either way. We do need this part also now for the electric part, the electric trap. So now, don't die, please. If you die early game on this, I feel like 
it just ruins so much of the momentum that you can try and build up. Big insta-kill here. Yeah, I also do not want to end the round. We must keep going here. Um, I think, actually, what I am going to do... I'm, I might be the craziest human being for doing this, but I think I'm actually going to low-key grab Speed Cola because look how long this thing takes. Oh, that was not that long. Oh, that was not that long. Okay, NVM. NVM. Here we go. Electric Trap is built. We now have it ready to go. Uh, so the Electric Trap step is mainly... Honestly, actually, you know what? I'm going to grab Stamina because we need to make sure that he doesn't steal our gun this time. And he needs to run into the electric trap. And we need to kill him. So, this is a lot. And uh, we're going to definitely need stamina to be able uh, to do this. So, another number that we have also is 5. So, the second wheel we have to hit 4 times. The third wheel we have to hit 5 times. Also, let me go and now find the first one. Oh, this first one is actually up. This map is so cool. Like... It, like I said, it literally reminds me of, like, the darkest shore, but, like, the opposite. It's, like, the inverse. This is the lightest shore. <laughs> uh, but also, the, you see all these, like, mines? There's an Easter egg step where I have to hit eight random ones in a specific order, and it doesn't tell me the order. Can you literally believe that that is a step? I can't even believe that. Um, okay, Jug is there. We don't have enough. Oh, frick, man. Um... I am going to kill this one guy. Yeah, we now have enough. Uh, because I believe next round, Doctor is going to come, or the Pentagon team's going to come. So I have to make sure that I'm good. Uh, here is the teleport pad. Let's hit the teleport pad. And also, this crane is going to be a major step to the Easter egg. The number is right here, but you can't even see it. One. Okay, so I believe our code is 145. And that is the way we have to hit these wheels in a specific order here. I really should down there. Uh, I can't believe I didn't. Uh, but let's take him out now. And let's run towards it. If he takes my waft now, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, no, no. I just have to make sure I kill him. No Pentagon Thief. Thank you. Yeah. Let's, um, let's get some more ammo in this thing then. 500 points. Yeah, let's make sure... Let's make sure I don't want to waste too much ammo in this crit in the crank gun right now just because if I do oh, if I do I'm afraid I won't be able to kill the Pentagon thief fast enough. Um, so yeah, let's let's maximize this. Uh, again, like I said, I do have to make sure that the Pentagon thief does not grab me this time. So this will be a little bit difficult. Uh, but and I believe I'm going to place the Electric Trap here because there's a lot of room in the spawn. So I'll be able to long range him very easily if I um, just give myself enough space. I'm glad I have stamina. Oh, please run. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I am going to grab Jug. I do, believe, I do believe we have Jug open now. So, yeah. Doesn't matter. Like I said, there's no perk limit. So it's just really well made this map. Big maxi, actually. Wow. Okay. Okay. Huge maxi. Uh, yeah. Let's go get Jug. Make sure that we're fully ready for this. I'm going to fully reload here. Honestly, I thought this thing would take a lot longer to reload, but we're totally fine. So, here we go. Speak is also in there. I'm going to grab that in a bit. A Jug is our priority right now. We are in a really good spot. This actually is one of my best runs so far. I am not going to kill the zombie in this area because I believe wherever you kill this last zombie is where the, the the Pentagon Thief spawns. And I need him to run. I need him to spawn somewhere in this area. And then for me to literally just book it. Because I believe it, the way it works is if he sees you, then he starts running. So, here we go. Zombie dies here. Let's see if this is Pentagon Thief uh, round. If it is... Oh, here's the seagull as well for the binoculars. I have no aim. There it is. Okay, binoculars quickly coming over. Nice. Where is the Pentagon Thief going to spawn? Oh, he's going to spawn on this side. Okay, so actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to switch out my plan. 
I'm gonna wait until he sees me, drop this Electro Trap, and just murk him. He's gonna come around that corner. I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm actually super nervous. I've done this step wrong a lot of times, so I hope that I can do it correctly this time. This Electro Trap also doesn't last forever. It has a really long cooldown time. So I have to just make sure we're... I, what's up, G? What's up, G? There it is. Yep. Die! No! Oh, we got it! We got it! Woo! Oh my gosh, I've actually never done this Easter egg set because I've had so many problems with it, but we actually did it. So, you know you've done it correctly if he's all electric. And then here, there we go. We actually do get a bonfire sale here, which is a huge deal. Um, I don't even have enough money though to pop. So honestly, I think I'm just going to pick it up. Very useless bonfire sale. Um, the Panzers are here. Yep. Gotta take these boys out. We do need to just hit box now. I believe now it's all about box hits. Because now we're in a really, really good spot. I'm also going to go turn the wheels in a very specific order. The 145 order that we've already established. I do have the binoculars, which we've already picked up. So I'm in a really, really good spot this game so far. So I am going to leave a crawler this round, I think. Because now it's all about box hits. Making sure that we get the right weapons. And I actually need mule kick, funnily enough. Um, there's no perk limit, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's open up this portion of the map. And yeah, this portion of the map is also a very, very opened up area. So it's, um, it's pretty cool how fast you can get this entire thing down. Big double points here. Uh, oh, I didn't leave a round. Oh, I didn't leave a zombie. I, it doesn't matter. I do need points though, but let's go and do this first. So this is one. This is four. One, two, three. Four, and this is five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're good. Just like that. Awesome. And now I'm going to grab Mule Kick too. Great. We are in a really good spot now, actually. So, yeah, Mule Kick is going around. I love this Death Machine too. I also don't know if this is from, like, Wolfenstein or something. Or if it's, like... It's custom made. I really have no idea. Also, this is the buildable table we're building the Panzer armor at, which is super cool in my opinion. We got another nuke. Don't need it. Now it is literally time to just spam boxes. Uh, and I need to make sure to leave. I'm going to see if I can make a crawler right here. They got the World of War nades up in here, which is really sick. Uh, we do have awesome crawlers. Lovely. Hey, oh, I just killed him. And I, oh, whoops. Okay, well, let's just leave this runner un until he respawns. Because I believe that's how it works in this. He'll respawn because it's Black Ops 1. Okay, now it's time to hit the box. Whatever we get now is our Mule Kick weapon. Doesn't matter with me. As long as it's just not the VR-11. I, sure. STG. Yeah, this map also has a ton of weapons in the box, which makes it that much harder to get the thing that you really need. Uh, which, I mean, like, POA? Like, what even is this, bro? Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is really what it's about. To, we're about to figure out. Big PPSH. Oh, my goodness. Again, we don't necessarily need this, but it's nice. Rega Mark II we needed. It just flashed away. That is so sad. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do now. The next step of this Easter egg is I think I've actually done quite a lot. Uh, I believe also I need to be looking for these... Oh, I can grab the Electro Trap. It said this one's not yours. I was like, then whose is it? <laughs> whose Electro Trap is it? There's these silos as well. Yeah, I have to... I have to end round. Uh, that have green lights in them. Maybe this one has the green light in it. I don't see... Oh, it doesn't. I just saw it. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Well... So there's a silo that has a green light in it that we have to do for a specific portion of uh, the Easter egg. But now the next step is that we have there's a red button in your jug that we have to click. 
and then we have to use the crane and open up a bunch of the silo areas because they have specific computers in them that have codes and once we hit them in the right code then we should be fully all right i'm gonna use all of my points this round only to make sure that we get through also i'm gonna activate the pad at the beginning here so we can just go and pop yeah so this step will be interesting i'm also 100 percent going to be leaving a crawler this round big double no not a nuke oh why why did i have to run into that i okay well doesn't matter if we do get the um no Pentagon. Ah, oh, I was about to say. If we do get it, then... I'll pop. I'll pop a couple weapons here. Honestly, okay. Actually, no. This is a really good idea. I'm going to let him take my gun. Yep. I'm going to let him take my gun. And I'm just going to spam box. Because if I get one of the weapons that we need right now... I need 2k to pop. I need uh, the weapons that we need right now. I've gotten this gun like four times already. Ow. I don't care what you steal, Pentagon Thief. I'm going to get that bonfire sale. The Vlad? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this is in here. Okay. Yeah, where is this man's... Ooh, the Remington. I actually... You know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to go for it. Where is Pentagon Thief? As soon as he comes, or as soon as I see him, I'm just going to mow him down. We're going to get the bonfire sale. Where is he, bro? Hello? Dad? I think he's close to spawn here somewhere. I really dislike that he can just spawn anywhere on the map like this. It's terrifying. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, he's right here. I'm gonna wait until I can see him through this area and just unload on him. Yeah. I don't want to test the Vlad right now. I think this is more for zombies. I'm only going to use the Pepper Mill. I love that name for a gun. The Pepper Mill? It sounds like a farm, bro. Any day now, Pentagon Thief. I need a bonfire sale. Here we go. This is getting me it. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, at least we can pop one gun. That's Ike with me. That's Ike right with me. Does he really not give you points? That's a little insane if he doesn't, but we'll see. No, he doesn't. Wow. Okay, well, doesn't matter. We need to pat the pepper mill either way for the boss. Um, also, I believe... How does this do? Oh, so it's like the crossbow? I believe when you upgrade this thing, though, it literally becomes insane. Get on out of here. Okay, there, I think there's another Panzer that spawned. We're gonna go to Pat first. Oh. Honestly, when they spawn like that, that's just a blessing. That's <laughs> just a blessing, bro. Why do they spawn off the map like that? Um. Okay. Pat time. Bonfire sale time. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye time. Yep. This is just one of the greatest weapons ever. I love this thing. This thing is fire. What is that? Carpenter? Doesn't matter. Let's take the telly. The pop is really cool, too. It really reminds me of, um... Of DE. Okay, so yeah, honestly, I, I only wanted to pop this weapon, so I'm glad that I got this one done. Look at this. Mams is done here. We got a part also for the Panzer armor here. Look at that pop camo, too. It's different colored afterlife camos. Like, look how good that looks on BO1, man. Like, seriously. Love the way that looks. Either way, though, we still need to hit four box. Get the right weapons that we need. We now only need the last part of the Panzer armor, which I actually, if I'm going to be honest, y'all, I have literally no idea how to get it. All I need to know right now, though, is that we need to maximize all the points. I'm going to make crawlers here. There we go. Perfect. Kill everything but the crawlers, and we should be I I love VO1 crawlers. I wish VO1 crawlers were in every single freaking Call of Duty game. I really mean that because back in BO4, hunting for Easter eggs when crawlers would die in four seconds 
might have made me the most aggravated I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, but it's Ike. Um, okay, so now there's these computers here, and they will actually have a number once I activate the crane here. So I need to open up all these doors here. So yeah, and the order that we have to hit it is 20, 40, 5, and then 10. Also, yeah, this thing is got an electrical signal, which means that I've done the E-Strike step right. And we do have to click this button first. So here we go. Click the button. Now we activate this. And now we look for 20, 45, and 10. This is not it. And we are timed here for the step, so you can hear the timer going down. Uh, I am just going to quickly check all these spots here. 20. So that's our first one. And then I believe that's 5. I believe this one is 40. Oh, there isn't actually one in here. Whoops. I believe there's one over here. I'm gonna have to... Oh, it's going by fast. Oh, Monka W. 20, 40... Oh, man. Where is this last one? Where is it? I think that was all four, though. Was it not? Wait. I don't even know what number this one was. 20, 40... Oh, that was 10. I don't know where the other one is. I actually have to figure it out. Oh my goodness. Um, where? Where is it? Oh my goodness. They make you sound like you're about to Seven, die. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, okay. I also got box move, which is nice. Let's literally look for this last one uh, because I don't even remember where it is. Uh, did I write it down? Nope. <laughs> of course I didn't. Um, there's literally one more though. I, I'm i gonna look for it just quickly. It's one more panel that I'm missing. It's gotta be like in some random area that I, I just happened to miss. Um, yeah, let's make a crawl in here. I don't know if I can do it again this round. If I can, though, that would be beautiful. Oh, is it in here? No, we did this one. So it's this one. This one. Oh, I already have those. Whoops. This one. Wait, no, there isn't one in here. Oh, also, the light is green here, so this is where we have to bring the silo. We also have the box here, which is really nice. Um, where is the other freaking control panel? Oh, maybe it's in the... I, I'm pretty sure it's in this area. This is back here. Nope. This is just a gong show right now. Could be... Oh, I think it's right here somewhere. No... Oh, it's right here, bro. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go and restart this step. Let's see if we can do it. So again, press the red button. Hopefully it lets me press it. Doesn't let me press it. So, next round. Ah, it is the way it is. Well, let's go hit box with the remaining points that I have. I'm gonna get rid of the Vlad, I think. Um, I don't think this weapon is very much needed. Love crawlers, man. I love just being able to do my own thing and enjoy the zombies mode, bro. Have some good downtime. So I have to remember there isn't anything here, but this is the place where we have to bring everything to. The war machine! Well, I actually do think I need this. Um, for a part of the step, so I'm not gonna get rid of it unless I get like a ray gun. Nope. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Wow, what a weird setup. Well, round is time to get over. Let's go through one more round. Grab some more perks here. Honestly, I do need to get more perks. I need to get more suited up. I need speed cola. Let's go. Let's literally just get speed cola. Um, how is this? There is PhD on this map. So 
definitely not too bothered. But I think as of right now, I am just going to use this craft gun. Oh, I'm going to use PPSH first. If there's Panthers, I'll use the craft gun. But yeah, I really like this map in terms of how you have to strategize. Like, do you notice how I'm, like, always talking uh, to the video and just saying, like, there's always these things that I have to make sure that I'm paying attention to or else I'm just not going to be able to do it. And I don't know if I mentioned this on this version of the recording because I've had to restart this recording so much, but there's a lot of these sea mines outside the map here that you can see. And, um... I have to shoot eight of them in a random order, and that is the second last step before the boss fight. And that makes me very horrified. Very, very, very horrified. Okay, we have enough for speed cola now. So I'm gonna just knife all these boys for real, bro. I mean, we can get Bowie knife, but I don't need it. Oh, cranker. Cranker! Yeah, also, we need to do the that okay let's do it honestly i can just do it mid round let's hit box too let's see if i can make a crawler here actually perfect nade boy okay we have a crawler we're all ready to go we can hit like just barely one hit i think Oh, actually, if I rebuild this barrier, I can hit two. Hey, let's go. Shout out to rebuilding barriers. Remember when this was such a complicated ask to bring back? That was so strange. I'll never forget that. Um, anything good? Ooh, there it is. The Rega Mark I, a weapon that we actually do need. Well, there we go. That's huge. Now... Anything good that we can grab in here again? Nope. Perfect. It, it went away. Awesome. Now, let's go to the step. I do just need anything that can make some light. And the ray gun will be able to make... Can it make light for me? Yep, we can. Just hopefully I don't kill myself with it. I don't have PhD. So, let's see if we're going to do the step now and begin. I can't do the step. Maybe I don't have to click that button anymore. Maybe I literally just have to activate the crane. I am going to initiate the link pad here. Oh, I literally just have to do this. Okay, here we go. So 20, 40, 5, and 10. What is this number? 10. So I guess it's the same numbers. So I'm all... I'm all ready to go, lade. That one was 5, I believe, down there. This one is 20. 20. 40 was on this side. And then I have to run literally all the way back. They are making your boy haul. This is what I'm saying. I don't think you can do this without stamina. This crawler is still here. I love Black Ops 1. Oh, that was 5. Whoops. Okay, so I do have to go another round then. If this is a Pentagon round, I literally can't do anything. I don't know what they're going to expect of me. What do I do now? Can, I do, can I do it again? Do you hate me? He hates me. <laughs> he hates me. I can't do it. I... And the round. Absolutely criminal. Well, it's not even that bad, considering we still need to just hit box. Uh, and if I do have a Pentagon around, I am going to let him take my weapon, because... Honestly... That will give me a fire sale if I take him out. So, that, that is very useful. Also, box time! Also, one Panzer only? Oh, no way! Well, I'm grabbing Rega Mark II instead. Yeah, Mark II is better than the Mark I. Absolutely, I'm grabbing that. No, don't need the grease gun. Oh my goodness, baby! Okay, go all the way down up on in here. Keep it going now. Yep. Let's make a crawler too. I like that name, Colombian Patriot. Okay. Now we're going to do it again. So I guess maybe these stations do change numbers every time. I just wasn't actually paying attention to it. Okay. There we go. I am running dangerously low on this ammo. Probably should not use this as much. Okay. We got honestly, let's let's keep the second crawler. Let's do the step again. Here we go. 
Uh, I'm excited, man. I really am excited because I think I can do this Easter egg. I'm going to go check if I can hit the red button just to make sure. Maybe I got the steps wrong here. Nope. Maybe you have to click that red button either way. It's just for a later part of the set. Either way, let's do it. 20, 40, 5, and 10. Let's do it. What number is this? This one's 40. Okay. Let's go to the electric cherry one, see what that one is. This is 10. So, so okay, so they're gonna maybe haul for this one. This has to be 20. 20, then back to 40. Oh, I know the order now. 20, 40. 40 is all the way back here. Also, I am gonna grab PhD. And then five will be on this side. How am I supposed to do this? I feel like the timer's not giving me enough time, but I should be. I... Okay. There's five. Please get this one. I just have to run to the other side of this room here. Don't count me down, Tokyo. I know he'll count me down, just like in Doris. Please don't do this. Don't do this. Ah! There we go. There we go. Okay. Woo! That Easter egg step now is done. So, now I'm wondering if we can actually do one of the escort steps. That would be cool. Let's also hit box. Let's hit box a bit. I don't want... An empty PPSH. Oh, monkey bombs. Huge. Oh, my goodness. This is the run. I cannot believe this. I'm so excited. This is the run, bro. Hey, let's do this. Okay, MG is also a really good gun. I'm going to hit it one more time, and that's it. One more time, and I'm out. Bren. Nah. I'm going to keep the MG. I'm going to keep the MG. I'm going to keep the MG. Okay, so now... I should be able, um, I should actually be 100% fully able here to do this crane again or do something with the missile. I have to use crane. Okay, so yeah, it's going to go down here. Look at where it's going down. It's going all the way down to a warship. And then this is now going to be an escort. So I have to now look how slow I am. I can't sprint. I can't jump. I can't even propel myself with a Rega Mark II, but I have to literally go all the way to... I wonder if I can fall down. For sure I can fall down. I have to go all the way back to spawn and put it near that rocket there. So let's do it. The dogs are not too bad. Again, it like the VR-11 laser weapon is like the EM-1 from Advanced Warfare, and it's actually infinite ammo too, which makes it that much better in my opinion. It's literally infinite ammo. So, you need that for the mine step that you have to shoot eight mines outside of the map for. I really think that step is going to cause me the longest for this video. It's going to take so long for me to get there, but either way, we're almost at our silo now. The dogs are almost done. I've just realized that dogs are also on this map too. The green light is on, the, the, uh, the rocket is, there we go, place on this side, just brought it to the wrong side, and there we go, a huge fire sale too, oh my gosh, well let's hit this, this might be actually game changing, I'm just going to keep swapping it, we need the VR-11 here, absolutely must have the VR-11, what a great little fire sale, did not expect it to come like that, oh I just swapped, went from VR-11 to the Walter, well, uh, get me my VR-11, brother, and I'll give you your blue. The bread is also really good here, too. Ballistic knife, it's just not gonna happen. So, now that the first plane has gone on, I think the next step, now also you can see I have the binoculars now, which is cool. So I guess that was the first step. I wonder if I can do another rocket escort, because I do have to do it again. I also need to make sure that I can send it to the right spot. Also, that was a full-on zombie. I uh, should be. Right. Okay, hold on. Let's just run all the way here. 
There is also another step where, like, a gas of this thing I'm supposed to binocularize. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So, I'm supposed to hit this thing here. And I believe when you do that, it, this actually triggers a bunch of panzers to spawn. So, there we go. Yeah, you can hear them now. The panzers are coming. I honestly should not have done this. I am not in a good... Oh, man, I should not have done this. I should not have done this. I don't have anything for this! Thank goodness I have the crawler, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Rigamar 2 is helping. I have to kill a bunch of panzers here. And they should drop a fuse here. Um, if the fuse doesn't drop, I was told that you have to end the round. Oh. Probably because there's still more of them. Absolutely insanity. Dude. Yep, they're still spawning. Yeah, and it's a freaking Pentagon fuse round. Oh my god. I have to watch out for the Pentagon Thief, too. Okay. I have not enough ammo for this, please. Okay, so we did it. I heard the completion sound. I just don't know where the fuse is. The fuse should be on the floor. Honestly, I'm gonna- I'm gonna let him take the Bren and see if I can- Actually, wait, can I just- He's gonna- he's gonna come out of here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, perfect. I do need a bonfire sale now, so I'm- I'm happy about this. And hopefully the fuse should just spawn in when I come back somewhere here. And then, yeah, also, like I said, that's where we build the Panzer Armor. Any day now, buddy! There we go. The fuse is not here, so hopefully I did this right. Also, I have to shoot this thing down with the Raygun Mark II. Oh, no! The Mark II doesn't work! Oh, I'm getting rid of it then. Oh, the Mark II doesn't work. I had no idea. I actually had no clue. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. I had no clue. Well, I do need some sort of explosive weapon. The, the I had a grenade launcher. I can't remember if it was this game or another game, but I did have a grenade launcher and that would have done the trick. Why does the Mark II not work? It's an explosive weapon, bro. Video gaming. Video, just video gaming things, bro. Yeah, screw the double path at this point, bro. Ah, oh, that's so aggravating. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go and, um, yeah, let's go and get the, what is it? Let's go and get the freaking VR-11 at this point, bro. That's really what we need. We actually need the VR-11. Um, oh my gosh. I can't believe this thing doesn't work. That's so annoying. Well, it's box time. Where is the box? Box! Hello! Oh, it's over here, I think, right? Or did I switch it from here? No, it's still here. Okay. I do have monkey bombs, but I don't really want to waste them right now. Mmm, not what we like to see. Oh, man. Yeah, this brand is not that good. Uh-oh. I believe this is a door here too, so nice. I'm gonna buy Deadshot. This is another door. Give me all the points, boy! There's an electric cherry also behind me, I'm gonna buy that. Uh oh, bye bye! Electric cherry in here, grab that boy. Purple bottle be like. Oh my goodness, okay. Another perk I can get is Widows. That is 100% something I need to get. Widows is just broken OP, so I don't got Widows and I don't got nothing. Open that door up. There we go. Widows wine time, baby! Hey, hey, hey. The, so the plane is flying around. I need to take out the plane with an explosive weapon. And it should give me a... Oh, that's what gives me the fuse, not the Panthers. I see, I see, I see. 
Um, so now, honestly, oh, can I make crawlers anymore? I actually don't know. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Does this make crawlers? Oh, it doesn't. Maybe that's why people don't run widows. Okay, I'm going to throw them out then. I'm going to throw them out. Bye-bye. Okay, doesn't matter. We don't have a crawler. We just need a box. That is all we are tasked to do at this point. We'll get another bonfire sale. Upgrade whatever we need to upgrade. And then we'll be iced. But right now, we need an explosive weapon. And that is not an explosive weapon, sir. Uh, also, I'm j hopefully the plane flies by multiple times. Um, also, I'm not sure if you have to destroy the plane while it's over top of this thing. You think this is funny? But actually, okay, the plane is coming back. So it does come back multiple times during the round. Let's try. Okay. It would definitely have blown up now, I think. Yeah, it would have blown up. That's just too bad. That is really too bad. I guess that's just a lack of coding. I did watch a tutorial and it just said that like, you literally just need one specific gun for it. Also, let's get PhD. Yeah, there we go. Now we got all the perks. We literally just need to do the egg. Um, where is that box? Oh, right here. Hey, let's go. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the brand. Also, hopefully you guys are enjoying the Mario music. I have to play Mario music literally just because, like, everything is copyrighted in 2023, man. It sucks. You, you literally can't play anything other than, like, video game music anymore. Like, video game music is practically the only thing that I feel like is worth it at this point. Um, I think I should probably end around here. Another shotgun. Bro, how many of these shotguns do we have? And yeah, like, you can tell a lot of these weapons are recent. Like, these weapons are from World War II. So, like, they know. Not, like, the actual. I mean, like, COD World War II. Um, so. Oh, another PP. Plane is coming by. I literally just need the BR-11 and an explosive weapon. Please, dude. This is what I'm telling you. This is now all box RNG. I do have to go through rounds here. I mean, we did do the Panzers part. So, now... What I believe, though... Oh, my... Three Panzers? What are you talking about? This is what I mean, bro. You literally need the Mario Oh, my gosh. I can't see. What the heck was that all about, bro? Oh, my gosh. That was horrifying. I just wasted so many points there, too. Brick, man! Yeah, I also do need to leave a zombie... Um, but yeah, it's all boxes now, but I believe now the only thing that we have to do Take out this plane and it will grab and then we grab the fuse from this plane, right? Oh, big max ammo We grab the fuse from this plane. We then have to get the BR-11 and upgrade it uh, And make sure that we can use it And once we get all that We should be chilling man I'm just gonna waste all the ammo here I also have to remember I do have monkeys, so I can throw one uh, literally any time, brother. Yeah, I don't have... Well, honestly, let's throw one. Hopefully this makes a crawler. Also, look at the little hat they gave him on this map. That's so cute. Make a crawler. Make a crawler. Did it make a crawler? It didn't make a crawler? What? How does an explosive mop make a freaking crawler, man? Also, yeah, we do have to do the other escort step for the second missile as well. Um, but as of right now, it's only box hitting time, baby. It's only box hitting time. The Bren, we do not need. I'm just going to keep cycling. Honestly, I'm going to just spin until we get the explosive weapon. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna sp I'm gonna spin until we get the explosive weapon, then go for it. I wish there was one on the wall that you could use for this set because this is a little bit a little bit cheeky, lad. And yeah, none of these weapons work, bro. The Bren! Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it should literally just be one bullet of like the right weapon, and then I'll be alright. Here's the box. 
I mean, I could do the second escort set, but I'm not going to be comfortable without the weapons that I need. Literally. I did not even realize there's a block spot here. So, here we go. Next up. Can I... I can TP to Pat, but I'm not going to... Yeah, the Luftwaffe again. Does this map have inspect animations? It does not. I don't think you could do that on BO1, to be honest. I don't think that's even possible. Sir, I'm gonna... Dude, this is what I mean. I I kind of think Widow's Wine on this map is kind of bad, because you can't make crawlers. That's wild. Widow's Wine bad? I mean, it'll be great for the boss, but I should have probably got it a little bit later. Give me an explosive weapon, please. Not the same five weapons over and over. MG here. I'm just going to keep picking it up. Whatever it gives me. <laughs> like, look at this. dual wheel Mausers. Like, what? Five. Okay, what is this? The Groza? Okay, so this map came out during Cold War. It's only like two or three years old. Dude. That's crazy. If that was the Groza, then I mean, that's the telltale sign. Raygun Mark 1. Here we are. This should work. Uh, so now we have to wait for it to come back. And once we do that, then we can do uh, the escort, which will be amazing. Because literally, we are on the final couple portions of this Easter egg set. And you can see that this thing has now opened up. Look at this. We have to put a fuse there. And then we actually enter in there with the Panzer armor. But we need to get it first. Um, so now... It's all just a waiting game. I'm really excited though because like I'm not close to world record pace because world record would practically have been done by now. But we're actually kind of there, bro. I did get a little bit more lucky, I feel like, than the world record pace that I saw. Um, but again, here we go. We're waiting for the plane. I'm also going to let it come a little bit closer. And then like I said, after this, we bring that second missile over. And then spam box. Honestly, we still need to spam box. We still need the VR-11. That is like the next step now. Okay, here's the, the plane. Let's rig on it. There we go! Hey, And there is the fuse for the door. Now, it's literally, yeah, it's literally time to just spam box and do the second missile. That is literally what it is time for. Great that the box is literally in the exact same spot that I need it to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Groza here. This is the last box hit, fellas. Wow, okay, and it's swapped. I think... Yeah, I think it's time to do the second crane. Let's do it. So call the crane. This is going to get him. Um, and then also, I think I'm gonna have to just end round here. So take the missile. Round is over. Oh, the round is not over, actually, because I have dogs on the map. Oh, that's a cool little gimmick. I really like that. That is sick. Okay, well, that's super cool. Well, now we're gonna keep going off to the, the side here. This is a lot easier now with perks and, like, upgraded weapons and all that, so... Yeah, let's keep it going here. Almost there, baby! I love the green afterlife candle. I mean, like, for real, how hard would it have been if custom mappers are able to do it? When, like, this is already on BO1, bro. This afterlife was from BO2 and they put it back at BO1. Crazy! Okay, almost at the Silo. Silo, once you put it in, then we'll have to kill all of the dogs, end the round, and use that to get enough points, hopefully to get the VR-11, and then we'll have to upgrade it. So, that'll be a process, but it'll be a great process. The light is on, and the missile is placed. Awesome. Hey, so now we're going to end round, and now I believe... Um, now I believe we actually have to just wait. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We're not waiting. Where's Box, actually? Oh, actually, I'm going to let him take my weapon and then take him out for a fire sale. Sir, where are you? You can take these garbage-looking pistols that I have. Hello, sir. Take these. I do not need a bonfire sale. I need a fire sale. Run all you want, boy! 
I need a dang fire sale. Yeah, I forgot when you kill him after he takes your weapon like this, he can just give you a fire sale. So, very lovely. Just have to make sure I don't get bodied as well. I love the lean feature on VO1. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, I'm going to be throwing monkey bombs here for sure. Because this is just me spamming until we get VR11. This is, this is the one thing we need now. Also, I'm not going to be using my binoculars anymore because I do need that for the boss. This isn't like... Here's the monkey out. Nice. Just a terrible... Box. There we go. VR11. Now we need to pop it. So as you can see, look at this, bro. It's literally a laser. Nice. And yeah, you can see it regenerates ammo. So it's technically infinite ammo. It just takes time to recharge, I guess. Uh, it's pretty good right now. Not too bad. Um, but either way now, I am forced to go to pop. To pop this thing. Uh, it would be nice. Actually, I, I was going to say it would be nice to have enough for both. But I actually think I can. I think I can actually have enough for both. I need 2k points here. Oh. Man. There we go. We got enough. Hey, more more than enough. Hey, awesome. I was about to say, oh. It's not even close to end around. That's why I'm like, bruh. Okay. Get me all the points I need. Let's leave that one crawler. That crawler's still alive, right? I don't know, actually. Hold on, I might need to make another one. Wait, where did that crawler go? I thought I had a crawler. Maybe I'm going insane. Either way, I'm going insane. Okay, let's go, Pat. Awesome! Dude, I'm so excited. So now that we're about to pop and get through this, we are literally about to get to boss fight here. This is so cool. So, here we go. Everything is good now. Oh, it only regenerates when you're holding it out. Oh, interesting. Well, let's hold it out, dude. Because, yeah, I mean, we're going to be needing this. We're all done with these steps now. To pop, we go. We are now going through it. Hey. Okay. Pack and punch. And, yeah, I believe the next step will be to override the pack a punch here. And then we come back to pack a punch, though. And it's all ready for us to go. Look at this ray gun. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. That is the best looking ray gun I've literally ever seen. So now this is going to be really crazy because I'm like, bro, hopefully we can do this boss fight. And this is the way that we're going to be using the boss fight. So upgrade the VR11 and grab the pack a bunch parts. So now I have to shoot a red orb, which is like, look, you can literally make the weapon turn red look at that isn't that so cool it literally can turn red so yeah when it's like this this is how we overload it and it shoots this like big pad over it i think i have to link it first so before we do that let me make sure to link it um and yeah this electricity is over it so we're good teleporter is cooling down i don't know if this is a round timer or just a regular timer so honestly i think i'm gonna end the round and just be on the safe sh safe side here uh but yeah literally we are almost done i'm so excited um uh, how is this gonna go um i literally don't even know if the pack a bunch process cooldown is from rounds or time well let's go through one round if I get another uh, Pentagon Thief round, which I don't think I will, I'm just, I'm going to get a fire sale from it. Um, yeah, we, I, oh, Panzer, though. how good is this against the Panzer? Oh, it's pretty good. Dang, and it regens fast. Like, this is a great gun. This is literally how you're going to be getting the majority of your kills, I feel like. And this is also how we hit the mines outside of the map. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Hello. Okay. Link to pad is ready. There's another freaking Panzer, bro. That is insane. How many, bro? 
Oh my god. Okay, and they drop the max. I'm gonna throw a monkey bomb. Yep. Also, let's try this max out version. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you do have to reload a lot to switch them up, but here we go. More panzers? How many? How many of them are there? I don't even need a fire sale, bro. I'm getting it. Okay. Carpenter on the safe. Yeah, I'm gonna just spam Ray Gun here. Ray Gun also can make crawlers. I should should have realized that. No, we do not need that. That is the last thing we need right now. Wait, where is that last Panzer? I'm confused. Either way, we have the weapons that we need. We're fully set up. Uh, just right now, I need to do this step. So, for this step, I have to shoot this red version of it over top of the pad but okay hold on let me go link the pad first and then we'll do this it has to be over the pad and at the power room for some reason which is very strange so let's do the pad first and then we'll do the power room but let's also make sure that this is pack punchable and we can go here we go so yeah, this will literally just be a little time-based step where I have to shoot the pad over at the pop area here. And then we um, and then we run over to power and shoot it at power. And then we should be good to go to get the last part of the Panzer armor. I'm really excited. This is one of the hardest Easter eggs I've ever done, but it's very fulfilling. Here we go. So you see you hear that that made a noise. Now I'm running. I forgot we had a regular crawler. Power room is in here. We have two regular crawlers. That's why I love Black Ops 1, man. You don't even remember them. <laughs> and then to the power. Nice. So. I believe this should let us go and get it. Whoops, I did not mean to kill that crawler, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I also hear a sound here too, so maybe it's... I'm gonna do it again just to make sure. Because like I said, you have to be fast. Okay, let's just make sure, because I, I heard a negative sound. And we don't like negativity. I think I just missed it again too. Oh my gosh. I literally have to fully recharge my stamina. So I'm just not going to sprint for like the next five minutes here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's going again, but I'm going to do it one more time just to absolutely make sure. Okay, there's no way I have my sprint. I'm also going to shoot this like... Oh, I fricked it, man. You'd think it would have made some sort of noise though. And I'm assuming it's while this is active. Oh, yeah. That's 100% what it is. Because, yeah, when it goes away, it makes that noise. Okay. Here we go. A freaking sprint for it, bro. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. I didn't hear the bad noise this time. I think it's good. I think we're good to go. So that should be the way now. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go and see if we did it because it's not here either way. Let's check. Please work. Hey, it didn't work. Oh, frick. Okay, I might have to relook this step up because honestly, I don't even know. Um, because, yeah, you have to shoot a red orb at the pop and then do it again. This is a freaking hard step, bro. I don't also know if the pad needs to be activated. Maybe it literally doesn't even need to be activated and I can just do it. Let's check. Uh, because, honestly, I don't know. And if I do have to pull up a guide, it's totally alright at this point. Um, let's see. I also don't think it's that one. It's the original pad. Shoot red 
orb over pod pop pod. Yeah, okay. So it's it's gotta be this one. But I'm telling y'all, we are almost done this Easter egg. I'm very, very, very excited. I just want this step to be solved. I'm not totally sure what I'm doing wrong here. Um, but here we go. Teleporter spinning down. Doesn't matter to me. I have no sprint. I have literally no sprint. I think I shot it at the wrong spot. Oh, I'm not going to get this one. It's going to be too late. What is that noise? What is that ding? That ding noise? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Oh wait, do I have to do something with the activation crane here? Maybe that's what it is. Nope. It's just saying ding. -ing. What the heck is going on? Okay. I'm I'm actually gonna quickly look this up right now and just see because I actually have the guide right here. Let's check. What am I doing wrong, Sadoran? I've got no idea, man. My PC is now dying. Let's go. Shout out to the gameplay. Um, any day now. Hopefully I didn't accidentally tab out. Oh. <gasps> no. What did I do? I think I just broke it. No, I broke the game. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, chat. I'm going to show you guys the end of this Easter egg then. That is insane, bro. What the heck? That is actually so crazy. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to show you guys this because it glitched for me for some reason. So this is literally the coolest part of this entire step. We had every setup part done, bro. We literally just needed to do this final step right here, which was take the teleporter, you go in, you grab the last part, it's like DE where you see a little cutscene, you craft the power transit armor here, look at this, it's so wild. And then look at that, he drops down, you can go in it, you go through here, you place the fuse that we grabbed, you go through the elevator, and you're literally the panzer! I mean, granted, you're not the actual panzer throughout the entire thing. You self-destruct right here, and then there's a microphone that you have to do. This spot, this step, I actually don't think I would have been able to do. Look at this. Eight random mine placements here that you do. And then literally, you have to shoot them in the specific order. It's completely random. It's not, there's more than enough. You activate the microphone, and then you shoot them. Which is, again, I don't even know how somebody solved this step. But then once you do that, you get an activation noise. And then you're able to literally go and do the entire boss fight. Which is so cool. Because the boss fight, I'm going to spoil it for you guys. It's the Apothecan from Revelations. Because literally, now he's doing the second missile thing that I did. You activate the microphone. There you go. You do the crane. And it's literally like Leviathan where you go in this little submarine and start the boss fight. They have a little cutscene and look at this, dude. Look at that! You laser him and stuff. It's so freaking cool, man. I love this. You take out the applause again. I mean, his tentacles do look a little funny, though. You got three phases with zombies, then dogs, then panzer. Then there's a special phase, which I was talking about with the binoculars, which you then scope in and take him out because he takes away everything. And then that's the map, bro. We were literally on the end. But boys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I should do any other maps like this. But yet again, thank you. And we'll see y'all in that.